There is no faster way to grow your live streams, whether it's on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, than creating recorded content. But a lot of streamers don't because they don't know how to edit or they think it's gonna take too long to learn. It doesn't have to take a long time and it really is not that hard to learn to do the simple edits that are gonna look really good. And the best part is you can use free tools to do it. Today I'm gonna show you five simple tricks to edit up your live streams into videos quick and easy and have them look really professional. Hello my YouTube friends! A lot of folks ask for this kind of simple editing video, so be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below if you want to see more. The first thing you're going to need to do is download your streams so you can work with them locally on your computer. It's pretty easy, there are video downloaders out there to help, and of course you can just go into the platform you're using and click the download button and it'll download for you right there. So while your video is downloading, it's best to come up with a narrative for your video. You know, a story that you want to tell. It's pretty easy to just start with a number video for your first time out. What is a number video you ask? Well it's pretty simple actually. An example might be something like five epic kills in Fortnite or five epic fails in Fortnite. You get the idea and basically it's the title that's already done for you as well. So now we have our narrative and the file is downloaded. We do have a couple of choices that we need to make before we start our edit. Do we want to film an intro to the video and each number or do we just want to narrate over some game footage for those bits? Now I personally recommend that you film quick clips of yourself in OBS for the intro, between intro clips and the close. It only takes a few seconds and I have a lot of videos about recording in OBS, so you can set up a simple record profile and knock them out really quick. You know what, I'll show you what I mean, so let's get into the five editing tips. Now we're gonna be editing in DaVinci Resolve. It's a totally free tool that anyone can download. There are links in the description so you can follow along. That is the best way to learn. So let's add a simple intro intro, all we have to do is go over here, and of course we already have our settings correct. If you're interested in that, well you can check out this video right here, we'll help you set up your recording settings. We're just going to click start recording and record our intro. Hello my YouTube friends! Today I'm going to show you five epic moments from my live stream. If you're interested in joining my live stream, well it's every Wednesday night at 7pm Eastern Standard Time. We'd love to see you there, but let's get on to the epic moments. Let's get to it! Click stop recording. So here is what your file is gonna look like when it's recorded. I know this is the intro that I just filmed, so I'm gonna go ahead and just call it what it is. This is my intro. It makes it easier to identify it when we drag it into DaVinci Resolve. In DaVinci, we just wanna go ahead and start our untitled project. We can just select a new project, which is fine as well. You can just put the date of your live stream or however you wanna name this. Uh, let's just call this one live stream edit and we'll create then what we want to do is click into the edit page right down here and we have our no clips in media pool so we'll go into windows explorer and i'm going to go ahead and drag our live streams questions and we don't need to change this we'll drag our intro in here and there we go so now we have our intro and our live stream loaded in here what i'm going to do is go into file and then I want to go into our project settings. I want to make sure that our resolution is proper, 1920 by 1080, our frames per second. Now I do all my video footage in 24 frames per second, but you can change it to whatever you want right here if you would like to do it in another frame rate. Personally, I like 24 frames per second. So that's what I do my stuff in. And I'm just gonna save it. And what we can do now is we can drop our clips in. So we'll just drag our live stream clip down here and there we go and we'll drag our intro clip down here and boom there we go so now we have our live stream and our intro clip and we don't need to really mess around with our live stream just yet so we're gonna move that off and we're gonna focus on doing a quick edit on our little clip here and this is going to get us right into our five tips because the first tip I want to show you is the different types of cuts that you're going to be able to do and they're really simple there are basically three main types of cuts that you're going to use 
So we'll just use our cuts tool. And the first thing we're gonna do is just straight cuts. We're gonna straight cut out the beginning and the end. Now we probably don't need to cut out the beginning cause I do my little intro, but for this particular purposes, we're gonna cut it out. So we'll just right click on it and we can do a ripple cut. It will just bring it all the way to the beginning and we can just cut this back end right here. And you can see when you drag, you're going to get the audio. So that helps you to line things up. If you notice, there is some audio in between here that's just empty. So it's basically dead air. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right here. And I am going to select this so we can move our clips around. And I'm gonna move these up. I'm just gonna slide this one in here so that my audio starts basically right when the other audio ends. Now this is called an L cut because you can see that it creates this little L right here. And let me show you how this looks. Eastern Standard Time. We'd love to see you there. Let's get on to the epic moment. So the dialogue actually starts a little bit before this one ends. And believe it or not, that actually works pretty well. Now what we want to do with this next one is we want to do a J cut. So what I'm going to do is go all the way over here to the edge where this is about to start. We're going to make our cut and we're gonna remove this dead air right here by selecting this and move these up here and go like this. We're just gonna move this right over to the edge. And this is called a J cut because it kind of goes like this. It goes over top. And this is an L cut because it goes like this. So let's show you what that looks like. In standard time. We'd love to see you there. Let's get on to the epic moments. Let's get to it. So it just adds that speed and everything else. It's it's basically a jump cut, but it allows you to move up the time. Now, if you just wanted to show the dead air in between this one and this one, but uh, have it come in, you could you can easily do that. What we can do is just bump this up one more space. We'll just drag this down here and move it up under that way. So that way we get kind of a visual pause and so we're basically yeah, adding two L cuts. Time. We'd love to see you there. Let's get on to the epic moments. Let's get to it. So there you go. Uh, it really depends on what you find visually interesting. You can also unlink any of these clips. So if I wanted to extend something and you know, you'll find lots of different ways to do this, but I can just click this unlink right here. And now I can move the audio piece separate from the video piece. If you're worried about syncing it up, well, if I move it like this, it tells me, hey, we're seven seconds out of sync here. You can just move it back and it will show you how to line up your sync again. And then if I go like this, and you know, I can select both of them and I can relink those clips. So now they're linked again. That is basically the editing of the J and the L cut that you can do really, really easily to make your videos flow better. The second trick I'm gonna show you is how to do transitions. So I've located a place where I wanna cut into my live stream for the first clip. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this right here. Then I'm gonna right click on the beginning piece and cut it and I'm gonna drag it over here. And what I'm gonna do is bring our playhead over here so we can zoom in a little bit. And there we go, we're actually at the beginning. So what I wanna do is put a transition in between this and this. Now the easiest way to do that is just to spread these apart like that so they line up directly with the end of our other clip. And you can see there's no transition at the moment. What happens when I do it is it just cuts. Do it. So let's add a transition to that to make it more interesting. We're gonna select effects up here and we're gonna go down into our video transitions right here in our toolbox. And there are hundreds of different easy transitions for you to do. Let's use the barn door. I kind of like the barn door. And you just drag it, drop it, and put it right there. You don't really have to do anything else with it if you didn't want to. Let me show you. Moments. Let's get to it. Here I have a live stream set up. And there you go. You've got a really simple transition. Now we can actually select that transition and come over here on the side and, you know, mess around with the transition. We can make it faster or slower. We can change colors and feather and make the border, you know, blurry or whatever we want to do. We can add motion blur to it, which is kind of fun to do. Let's go ahead and this says it's 24 frames. We could make it faster if we wanted to. Let's make it 0.5 seconds. 
There we go. And we'll play that again. Get to it. Here I have a live stream set up. And there you go. You can actually see Let's the go. motion blur right there. If we turn off motion blur, you can see that it's clear. So, you know, it's really easy to do. We can also ease in and ease out. So right now there's none. Let's ease in and ease out. What we're going to do is an ease out. So what this is going to do is change the way that it moves so that it's slower at first and faster at the end. Do it. Here I have a live stream. And there you go. So it gives it a much more dynamic look. You can add any of these transitions in here. And it's just that simple to add a transition. Of course, that is trick number two. Now trick number three can be very important. Maybe you have some slow points in your footage or you just want to make something artificially slower or faster. The choice is yours. It's pretty easy to do. So what I'm going to do is put a couple of cuts in here. So we'll cut here and we'll cut down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and unlink these and I'm going to select down here and I'm just going to remove my audio for these clips. And you know, the reason why I'm doing that is because maybe I'm going to put a voice over here, but I think maybe these clips are too long or too short. So I can right click on this clip and I can go to change the clip speed. And now I can speed it up or slow it down however I want. And we can ripple the timeline, we can reverse the clip, whatever we want. Now we want to ripple the timeline and we'll speed it up. We'll make it 150. So there we go. It's going to be 150% faster and we want to just ripple the timeline, which is going to bring this up and let's see how this works. So there we go. So now the clip is faster in the recording. If we want to do a voiceover for it, or we just want to speed up some of the sections that we think are just not very interesting, but we still need to include in the video. Now we can also go ahead and change the clip speed and we can slow it down. So we can do a 50% slowdown. So if we want to add that slow motion effect to it, um, obviously it's going to add the same effect to the audio. So you're going to want to keep that in mind. If you slow it down, it's going to slow down the audio as well. For game footage, that can be pretty effective and fun. But sometimes you might just want to voice over sections that you speed up or slow down. And you want to make sure you have your ripple timeline in there so it moves around all your footage. And now what we can see is we are in slower motion. And that's trick number three, how to change your clip speeds to make your video edits more interesting. Trick number four is going to be adding text animations. This is always good to add a little bit of flair to your video. So it's super easy to do. We're gonna go and select effects and we're gonna go to our toolbox and we can just select titles. And if we go all the way up to the top, we have text plus and we have basic text. We can scroll text, we can do lower thirds, that sort of stuff. What we're gonna do in this case is select text plus. I'm just gonna put it right up here and show you some of the features for it. So we've got a custom title. We can just put, wow, that just happened. All right, so now we have that in there. We can scroll down here and change our font to whatever we like. If we have fonts loaded on the computer, they are automatically going to be in there. Spaces out the letters, the line spacing. If you created a second line, it will change that up. We can left justify, right justify, all of that kind of fun stuff. We can have our text right on. So if you see this right here, well, bada bing. So we've got two dots, the beginning and the end, and now we can write our text on like this if we want. Well, what if we wanted to just write the text on? Well, we go to the beginning of our text piece right here, and we click this little recording dot there, and we go all the way out maybe to the midpoint of our text, and we go ahead and adjust that. And now if we go back to the beginning of our text and we click play, our text will type itself on there. You could just get yourself like a typewriter sound and play that down here. And bada bing, you will have all of the audio that you need. There's also advanced controls so that you can have the actual text appear or disappear on screen from directions and that sort of stuff. So many different things that you can do. You can change your layouts. 
You can actually adjust the rotation of the text so that it will rotate like that. You can actually animate that if you like. You can change your background colors and all kinds of other stuff. You can modify the transform and rotate it and change the size. So let's say that we wanted to um, add a rotation to this while our text is writing on or maybe after our text is writing on. So we go to where the text is finished. We're gonna go ahead and click this button right here and that sets a keyframe and then we wanna go basically to the end or near the end and maybe rotate the text all the way around 360 degrees. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and rotate this 360 degrees and that adds that second keyframe. So now we've animated our text in two different ways. We just click the play button, it writes our text on there. Now it rotates our text, bada bang. We've got some really, really cool, and of course we can take this text, make it longer or shorter, however we wanna do it. It's so easy to manipulate and add fun little text animations. That took like 30 seconds to add two different animations to this text. If you play around with this, you're gonna find hundreds of cool ways to animate text to put in your videos to make them more fun and interesting. The last piece I wanna show you is adding sound effects. This is a really simple trick as well. We're gonna go ahead over to our media pool and I downloaded some sound effects directly from YouTube's sound effect library. So they're totally free for our little typing keyboard here. And so I'm gonna just drag those into our media pool and then I'm gonna drag it down into our timeline. We can actually push, push this up a little bit and that changes the volume as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is move this up here and we'll line it up with our text. I'm, I'm gonna zoom in. So let's expand this out so we can see it a little better. And we'll turn up our typing so we can hear it a little better. And we'll go back to the beginning of the video and we'll line it up here. All right, so what we could do is we wanna kinda of have a constant typing going on here. So we'll cut the empty space out so it gives us a consistent typing sound. Push this together. And we don't need it to go past where we stop typing. So we can just adjust our size here and we'll go like this. And of course you could spend as much time as you want to line this up and make it actually sound like it. At the end of the day, just having that little extra sound effect in there is super cool. One other piece that I like that I wanna show you that is involved with the audio, the act of doing a voiceover. Now I do all kinds of voiceovers for my videos and you may end up doing voiceovers for your videos as well. So let's shrink these down a little bit to make it easier to see. But what I normally do when I do my voiceovers is I just create a video just like I normally would. In fact, exactly like my intro video. So I'll just drag in my intro clip. It's exactly like the voiceover stuff that I would normally do. And we'll put it right here. And of course, if I drag this clip up here like that, you can see that it puts it over top. And we don't want that. We just want the audio. So you can click here so that they are separated. Then I can just, they're unlinked now. And then I can just cut this. And then I can grab my audio and put it over here and line it up to whatever I want to do voiceover on. And of course, you can clip up audio just the same as you clip up your video. Maybe we want to take this piece here and we don't want to use this. We can just cut that and we just line up our audio with the segment that we want a voiceover. And there we go, you know, now we have a voiceover for this segment right here. And so you don't have to change your process to do a voiceover. I just create video and I delete the video part of it and I have a voiceover. Now you have all the tools that you need to make to make simple edits of your live stream to release on your channel. Now be sure to spend time to create a good title and thumbnail or all this work is really gonna be for nothing. If you wanna see how to create thumbnails using DaVinci Resolve, you should check this video out. Big thanks to the sponsors that support this channel. You can find their links down below in the description under the heading sponsors. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.